Will there ever be another Lotus Elise? Hello, Lotus everyone, and welcome back to the most informative Lotus channel on YouTube. So hit that subscribe button, stay informed, and so forth. Today, I wanted to talk about the Lotus Elise and whether or not there will ever be another car like it sold in North America. Now, back in May, when I was in Folsom, California for the 2019 West Coast Lotus Meet, I had lots of time to talk with members of the Golden Gate Lotus Club, and one conversation that kept popping up was one centered around this notion that the owners had very little interest in ever getting rid of their Elises because, as they'd put it, there will never be another Lotus Elise. And it really struck me while having those conversations that not only do I think they're right, and there will never be another street legal car sold in North America like the Elise, the truth is there was never anything like the Elise before it was released here. And the closest thing to it now is the Alpha 4C, and the Alpha 4C is no Elise. If there was an Elise before the Elise, it was the Lotus 7, but the Lotus 7 was really a race car. Yeah, you can drive it on the street, but it really was a race car, not a road car. This all really became clear to me when I spent some time autocrossing with the Golden Gate Lotus Club. Have there been lightweight cars similar to the Elise before? Yes, of course. MGBs, Triumphs, Lotus Elans, Elites, etc. Things like the, the 240Z, the 300ZX. But none of those cars combine a mid-engine layout modern technology across the board, so you know, ECU, tires, etc., and a powerful engine that revs to 8,500 RPM and beyond. Unless you hit the rev limiter like me, in which case, yeah, about 8,500 RPM. Now the truth about the Elise is that while its horsepower numbers on paper don't look terribly impressive, the Elise in stock form is fast really fast, and even a stock one when driven by a competent driver can crush most other cars at things like autocross. But even beyond that, the Elise is so well balanced that the limiting factor is almost never the car in any situation. It's almost always you. Now what I love so much about meeting all of the Lotus owners at the meetup was that so many of them had experience with lots of really high-end sports cars from Lotus and Ferrari, Lamborghini, Old Cobras, and yet the recurring theme was that when it comes to the Elise, the driver really is everything. Even the guys with the bigger Exiges, like the 240 and the 260s, and the highly modified Elises and Elysias, would say that, you know, a stock unmodified Elise is just about the perfect sports car and very, very hard to beat. You can modify the car to suit your preferences, and sticky tires for autocross are definitely a good idea. But beyond that, very, very few people can really outdrive a stock Elise, and the people who can get paid to do it. And so it's not all about specifications, it's about what the car is with all the components together working in harmony. And the question is, can such a harmonious balance be struck again? Power, grip, technology, all of these things continue to improve as time goes on. But the raison d'etre for Lotus has always been lightness. And as the arrow of time moves forward, weight really is the enemy. And this will be Lotus's biggest challenge as it embarks upon its new lease on life and I'd say second act, but really, it's way beyond their second act. And the question is, does the Elise need to be repeated by Lotus for them to be successful? As it is, the Elise is still modern enough and a good enough car that pre-owned ones are gonna satisfy lots of people for plenty of time to come. But I think we're all hoping there's another small platform car like the Elise that'll be barely legal, you know, barely legal like the original Elise was when it was introduced back in the States in 2004, 2005. There aren't gonna be exemptions this time around for safety though, headlight, height, etc. Whatever Lotus does is going to have to meet modern safety standards. And beyond that, there is a legitimate question about whether or not it would even be wise for Lotus to try to repeat the Elise. While the Elise no doubt saved Lotus and it's been their most successful car of all time, it hasn't sold in the kind of numbers that will be required to keep the company afloat going forward. Certainly not in the kind of numbers that Geely's gonna to wanna to see they're gonna have to follow up with something with wider appeal, which if we're lucky, will put us into something like the Boxster and Cayman class, and if we're unlucky, who knows, an SUV? So anyhow, will there ever be another Lotus Elise? And my honest assessment is that I don't think so. But it's not like that's a big problem because you can buy a Lotus Elise, albeit used, right now, and experience it in the present while the car is still relevant. You don't have to miss out on it. You can buy one for $40,000 or less, and you will have a sports car that will always challenge you, continue to amaze you, and you'll thank the universe for the fact that the lease ever existed at all. And if not, there's always a caterer. 
So if you're interested in learning more about how to buy a Lotus Elise, I've got a Lotus Elise buyer's guide on the channel for you and I'd love for you to check it out. Have a question? Leave your comment in the area down below to us and I will answer it as soon as possible. As always, thank you for watching and live long and Lotus. Hey.